Good morning, Palmer Road Baptist Church. We are so blessed to have you joining us here today. For the month of October, we have gained 892 new viewers on Facebook. We have 43% women watching and 57% men watching. And our biggest age group is the 25 to 34 year old range, followed by the 18 to 24 year old range, followed by the 65 plus range. Yay, Palmer Road. And our biggest country for this month is Brazil with a total of 19 viewers followed by the Philippines with 11 viewers. So praise the Lord. Then on YouTube for the month of October, we've had 2,541 new viewers with 58.1% women and 41.7% men viewing. Our biggest age group on YouTube is the 35 to 44 year old range, followed by the 59 to 72 year old range. And our biggest country for YouTube is the United Kingdom with 96 viewers. Wow, think about that Palmer Road. Look at how much that God is blessing our church and by spreading and sharing his word. I, I'm just so excited about that and you should be too because you are a part of that by each time you share on Facebook and each time you share on YouTube. So we thank you so very much for that. Um, also this year at Christmas time, Palmer Road Baptist Church is participating in the program called Operation uh, Christmas Child through Samaritan's Purse. And I posted the information on Facebook. Uh, this is a program where you can donate $19 for a shoebox uh, which is filled with toys for age groups from the age of two to the age of 14. And they'll be sent all over the world um, for, for Christmas time. And then we get to track where our packages went. And we thank you so much for those who have already participated. And there's still time. We have until November 8th. So if you're interested, uh, just give me a call or text me, either one. And if you wish to give your tithes and offerings, you can do so online through PayPal on Facebook, or you can mail to the personage. The address is on your screen. And we thank you so very much for your continued support for this ministry. And we're happy to report that for the moment, all of our members from Palmer Road Baptist Church are doing well. And we just can't praise the Lord enough for that also. So our prayer request this week are the Gentner family, the Tackaberry family, the Gale family, the McKinney family, the Meyer family, the Kahn family, the Freaky family, the Kinsey family, the Kane Cross family, the Peterson family, the Hammond family, the Reese family, our new Facebook friends and YouTube viewers, Galatian Christian Church, Pastor Willie and Evangelist Mary Cleveland, and Pastor Stan and First Lady Lynetta Sargent of New Life in Christ Ministries. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. And Lord, we can't thank you enough for all of the continued blessings you keep pouring out on Palmer Road Baptist Church. Lord, we thank you so much for the avenues that you've given us, Lord, that even though we're not meeting together today, Lord, but yet still, you're still giving us other ways to get your word out, and we thank you so much for that. And Lord, there's some on our, on our prayer list today, Lord, that are suffering from COVID, Lord. And Lord, we'd ask that you would just place your comforting arms around them, Lord, and that you would lift them up. And Lord, that they would fully recover from it. And Lord, we ask that you be with the family members who are concerned, Lord, uh, about their loved ones. Lord, we'd ask that you would give them your peace that surpasses all understanding. And Lord, we'd ask that in the upcoming weeks with the election and everything that's going on, Lord, we'd ask, Lord, that your peace would, would withstand all of the evil that wants to come about with it, Lord. And we know that we can trust on you because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Lord, we stand on that promise that you've given us for that. And Lord, we just thank you so much again for all of the things that you continue to do, Lord, and bring us through. And Lord, we're asking that you continue to keep our feet firmly planted in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Good morning, Palm Road Baptist Church, and God bless the new listeners and those that have tuned in to watch us. I'm so thankful for you all over the world, the many people that have joined us. It's been truly a blessing. <clears throat> also, I'd like to thank the Lord for the work that he, Charlene, our resident minister here at Palm Road Baptist Church, has done for us. She certainly has put on quite a few hats here, and I'm so thankful for her, her zeal, her understanding, her love, and the creativity that God has given her. So let's give her a, a round of applause. Today, <clears throat> I have a message for you. I would like for you to go to the book of St. Matthews, chapter 3. Let's bow their as heads for a word of prayer today. Father, I thank you for all that you have done. In spite of the trials and tribulations, in spite of all the things that we have gone through, you yet still have reigned supreme in our life. You have carried us so many different distances when things seem to have been, are, are trying to overcome us. It's been you, Lord, that have stepped in to not only encourage us, but also to show us, Lord, that you are still reigning strong. Father, I pray today that you would give me the words and that the words I speak today will help someone. My prayer today is that the words of that come forth from my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable to you, Lord. I ask this in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Chapter three in the Gospel of St. Matthews. I wanna start from verses 13 to 17. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and cometh thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it is become us to fulfill all righteousness. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened upon him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. Verse 17, And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my Son, in whom I am well pleased. I want to focus on the 17th verse, where it says, And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Let me give you a little bit of background in this chapter 3. This introduces John the Baptist. And it also introduces Jesus beginning his ministry. Now John the Baptist, as he was in the wilderness, began to preach and, and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then he was introduced with Jesus. It's interesting in verse 14 what John said. He said, when Christ told him to baptize him, John recognizing that he was not worthy. He said, I have need to be baptized of thee, and cometh thou to me? Jesus answered him, said, look, look, allow it to happen now, for it must happen so that all righteousness can be fulfilled. In other words, things had to be completed. And the most important thing I want to talk to you today about is the uh, faithfulness of Christ here. Hopefully, as we look back over our lives growing up, we can recall times where we made our dad so very proud of us. The things we did at that moment reminded our father, fathers that we are so much like him and our dad is so pleased to call us his son. In verse 17, again, as, as Christ was being baptized by John the Baptist, God the Father looking from heaven saw his son, and he was so pleased 
he remarked, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Can you imagine for a moment your dad saying that to you? What joy must must have went through Christ's heart at the at that moment, and what joy must the father had for him to express that about his son? That had to be the ultimate compliment. I want to share with you today some of the reasons why God the Father was so pleased by his son. For God the Father. Everything he did was for his son. Likewise, everything that Christ did was to please his father. So today, let's talk about this unique relationship and why the father was so pleased with the son. Everything the father asked of the son, you can imagine the son saying, Dad, I got this. In fact, I would like to use that for the title of my message. The message being, Dad, I got this. When he was asked to give up his heavenly home, where he was worshipped as the creator of all things, for our earthly home, where he was hated, I can hear Jesus saying, Dad, I got this. Jesus shedding his blood would replace the Old Testament system of blood sacrifice of bulls, and goats as a more better sacrifice. Why was it better? Because he was a son of God and he had not sinned. A much more better sacrifice. He would become a curse by hanging himself upon the tree, freeing us from the curse of the law. Galatians 3 chapter, chapter 3 verse 13. When he was needed to be beaten and bruised, that we could be healed from our sins. I can hear him saying, Dad, I got this. Jesus would become our high priest because he was tempted and always like we were so he can sympathize with our own weaknesses. Yet he did not sin. Hebrews 4 and 15. He was lied on. He was spit on. He was strung up on the cross, yet asked the Father to forgive them, for they know not what they do. He had no home to lay his head, nor the comfort of a bed, so that we may have eternal life in heaven. I can still hear the voice saying, Dad, I got this. He was sold for 30 pieces of silver, which today is, is approximately 150 to 300 dollars that we could live in heaven where the streets are paved with gold think about that jesus took upon himself our sins that we could take on his righteousness he put himself on the cross that he could free us from the wages of sin which is death by giving us life instead he was asked to give up his life that we may have life. I can hear him saying, Dad, I got this. He brokered a peace deal between the Father and mankind by giving his life as a ransom, reconciling us back to God, the Father. No more longer enemies with God, we can call him our Father and now also heirs and joint heirs in Christ Jesus. As Jesus completed everything he was asked of, I can hear it saying to the Father, Dad, I got this. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Death was the down payment required to bring us back in fellowship with God. And just before he gave his last breath, he said, it is finished. Jesus was crucified and buried on Good Friday and rose on the third day. He is now Lord and Savior, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. He is our high priest. He is also our advocate. He is our healer. He is also called the Wonderful Counselor and the Almighty God, and is a helper in the time of need. 
And of course, Jesus now is our Savior. The scripture tells us, I'm speaking to someone right now that's viewing us. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. According to the scriptures, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Because God the Father is omnipresent and omniscient, he knew that the Son would do what he asked. So when the Father looked down on the Son, he declared, This is my Son, who I am well pleased. Knowing that the Son would do whatever the Father asked. Dad, I got this. Thank you for listening to my words today. I hope someone out there has considered what I share with you today. Jesus was the most faithful servant. Who among us would have taken upon this tremendous yoke and decided to follow God with everything that it was asked of him? He did it with joy that you and I could have a better life and live with him forever. If you've been struggling with, with things in your life, you want to change, you don't know how to do it, I would ask that you would just raise your hand and ask the Lord to come into your heart. Just say with me, I believe that you are who you say you are, that you died for my sins, and the third day you were raised. I believe that not only are you Lord, but you are also Savior. Jesus, please forgive me. Change my life. If you can say that with your whole heart, by faith, it shall come unto you. God bless you for listening today. We will be back next Sunday. Take care.